Hi. Hi. I'm Kelvin from Zhiyun. And uh, what is this product here? Well, this is our latest stabilizer for smartphone. We call it Smooth Q2. It's very small. Yes. And uh, so it's so small, you can fold it, put it in the pocket? Of course. Let's see. Put it in my pocket directly. Nice. Yeah. Even with the phone. Yeah. And then you, uh, how, how many seconds did it take you to start making cinematic video? Let's see. One Boom. second. And you can record me in video? Sure. One second. Ready? Go. So it's just going to be a smooth video going around, not shaky at all. Yeah. And uh, how does it look like? Let's see. Cool. So extremely easy for people to make something that looks very cinematic. It doesn't have a microphone uh, fixer here, right? No? Yeah, but Shotgun. we can mount a microphone on the gimbal body here with another Ooh. accessory. Where? I will, uh, you have a special mic? No, <laughs> but you can mount it with the um, Type C port here. Ah, okay. Uh, so and uh, so this is on the Kickstarter. Yeah, yep. th this is on Kickstarter. Ooh, a small so one. there it is. So uh, what's the price on Kickstarter? Uh, right now it's one one nine US dollar. One one nine. People can just order right here until yeah. when? When is the uh, finish the? Oh, shipping yeah. in October. And there's uh, how many days left, or how long time left? Uh, 18 days ago. 18 days to go here. 18 days, yeah. and people can order the Smooth Q2. So you would say it's the best uh, mobile phone gimbal in the market? Yeah, absolutely. Just because of size, or what, what else? And depends on its um, compact design, as well as its um, connection with your smartphone. Because we can use the Bluetooth inside your uh, smartphone without connecting any app, and I can Control the control stop or stop recording or take photos here, say for example. <laughs> see, without nice. connecting any app. And uh, you can tilt up and down, right, left. Yes. And what, what do you do with the, the controller? All right. Actually, this joystick we will be used to uh, switch different mode, working modes. Say for example, here, I press the joystick and then now you switch to POV mode, point of view. Okay. And uh, one more time, clicking on the joystick and it switch the voltage mode, which allows the 360 rotation on All the right. pen as it. And what's the other mode? Is there and I press the joystick one more time and then switch back to the pen following mode, which allows the gimbal close my left or right rotation, but not following up and down. Nice. And uh, you can can you also move it up and down with this? Sure. So you can tilt. It turns. And turns up again. It turns right. Right. We have to click it into lock mode, yeah. and then you can turn it left or right. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. So, but this is just one of the latest ones for for mobile phone. But you have a whole range here. Can you introduce some of these? So, um, is this the WeBuild Lab? Yeah, that's the WeBuild Lab. How's it going with the WeBuild Lab uh, sales? Well, so far it's pretty good, and uh, we've been actually target for some compact or mirrorless cameras as well. Say, for example, this is uh, Panasonic Judge 5, and it perfect, perfectly fits the WeBuild Lab here. And this one can go up here? Of course, it's all with these a different... what we call the Chris App Kit. So, instead of rotating the tripod yeah. here, we add a Chris App Kit here so we can. Cool. Switch the tripod from down to high. And within a second. And this is uh, you released this before uh, DJI Ronin SC mm -hmm. many months before, and it's yeah. still better, no? Yeah, of course. You, you can say because it has these uh, more comfortable dual handle mode up here. I think it's more comfortable. Yeah. And um, particularly for some low angle shots. And you introduce this locking mechanism, so you can just set it up very quickly for out of the bag. Yeah. No need to recalibrate every time. Absolutely. Cool. And uh, you also have another mobile version here, which is the um, the M2. So actually, Crane M2 was released in late July this year, and it's pretty new. And uh, one of the most uh, outstanding highlights for Crane M2 actually is compatibility. It's fit for a smartphone, action camera, a mirrorless camera, as well as the uh, compact camera. 
So also mirrorless, like how big the mirrorless? Not uh, Panasonic well, say G9. Well, for example, um, Alpha 6000 series with the kit lens. Or really? Alpha 6000? Alpha 6000, yeah. But the Panasonic GH5 G G9 is too big? No, that's too big, far too big. Okay, so but up to Alpha 6000 or 6600, the new of one. Of course, of course. All right. And uh, then it can go on there. It's very compact, light, and very stable. How does it compare this one with this one? It's bigger, but what's the other feature difference? Well, uh, both look cute to actually on the target while yeah. the Queen M2 well. So you can see the this kind of camera, GoPro, the thing, and the it's Sony oh, no. camera. Oh, it's compact camera. Out. And then you have a bigger one right there, the Crank Three, really Crank good. Yeah. Uh, what else, what else are you showing over here? The Oops. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this one is a Crank Three. It's very professional. Yeah. Which one is the most popular? Is it the Crank Three or the Weibo Lab? Uh, it depends on what kind of camera you are using right here. Which one you sell more? Is it secret? Uh, I think it's more like half-half, I would say. Half-half? Yeah. How about uh, uh, ZU and uh, all this expertise in making gimbal, mm -hmm. where does it come from? Uh, what's the engineering doing every day? What's the... Well, I would say innovation and creation. So, thinking about all kinds of new cool setups, Cool designs. Battery goes in there. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you have it set up so it can remotely uh, focus. Cool. All right. So what's coming next is a secret, right? Yeah, that's secret. But I will tell you as soon as we got the information. There's always new things coming. Of course. All right. <laughs>